Arogya in Sanskrit means good health. It actually means living without disease. We are a chronic disease prevention organization uh, that promotes uh, prevention through healthy living and uh, lifestyle change. India is a diabetes capital of the world. India has 66 million people living with diabetes. We know uncontrolled diabetes means stroke, means heart disease, means uh, kidney disease, means dialysis, means more medication, more hospitalization. So it's a very big uh, public health problem. In my family, it ran in my father's family. I could see firsthand how many of my cousins uh, were affected and the toll it took on their lives. Diabetes um, affects Indians uh, in their 30s, 10 years, 20 years earlier than people in the West. People have called diabetes a tsunami. While India has a big problem of diabetes, there is a solution. Uh, we don't need to wait for a new vaccine or a new technology. We know diabetes is preventable with three lifestyle changes, according to the World Health Organization. You have to avoid tobacco, you have to eat right, and you have to uh, exercise. And that is a very simple formula on paper, but it's the holy grail of behavior change. It's very difficult to get people to change behavior. Every person in India, from the vegetable seller to the a child on the street or to the rickshaw puller, everybody has a cell phone. So we wanted to use the reach and the power of the cell phone to get our educational messages to, the num to all of these uh, people. In the first five years of Arogya World's existence, we have reached a million plus people with our educational messages, but we know we have helped 150,000 Indians lead healthier lives. Diabetes is a problem in all segments of America, especially in the Hispanics and the Native Americans and African Americans and Asians. Indian Americans are affected by diabetes in even larger numbers. The uh, prevalence rates are four times higher in Indian Americans. So it is something I fervently believe. It's on our watch that diabetes has grown to the alarming proportions it has. And so it is our responsibility to fix this. We all have an equal stake in this. We have to use our uh, spheres of influence to bring about behavior change at the individual level, at our family level, and then use that to get the governments to act on uh, prevention programs. We have to work hard, but we'll get there. We are known to make bold promises, but we deliver on them. And uh, we're called a small but mighty organization, and I like that epithet.